This video is going to give you a deep dive into the champion class in Lotro. I'm going to tell you which races can pick this class, which weapons you can wield, and also give you some insights into which virtues I would pick. But before we can do that, make sure that you hit that subscribe button, guys. It really, truly helps a lot, and I greatly appreciate everyone who has subscribed. But now, let's go learn more about the champion. First, let's start off with saying, what is a champion? A champion is essentially a class that's very melee and strength driven. They're most of the time like a secondary tank in some regards but they mostly do like aoe damage and that's kind of like their highlight they actually have good aoe skills that are available that's pretty much not really comparable to really any other classes they're very much a class inspired from gimli in the lord of the rings movies so if you want to make gimli of your own you can definitely do that the class difficulty is actually listed under basic so it's a pretty easy class to pick up according to lord of the rings online when you log in it's what it's labeled under and i would honestly totally agree with this this class is not hard to learn at all pretty self-explanatory and because you also have heavy armor you have a better survivability in comparison to other classes so if you're someone who wants to wield some swords and go swing in and do some decent damage then this is the class for you as this character is very much based off of gimli the races that you can choose to utilize this role are literally all of the races so i'm talking dwarfs just like gimli you could do elf champions high elf champions stout axe dwarfs man hobbits literally everything besides bjornings because bjornings their race is actually just specific to the bjorning class because they're shapeshifters essentially they switch into bears so therefore can't have a champion just switching over to a bear all the time i would definitely recommend that you choose a dwarf champion because some of the dwarf champion characteristics of their race can give you might and vitality boosts which definitely help you with this class your main stat is going to be might as your very most important stat and then Vitality is your secondary most important stat. So as I'm talking more about the armor aspect of the class, I also want to mention what weapons that they can wield. Champions are mostly known for being able to dual wield, and as you can tell on the character creation screen, you see that they have two swords, but I'm actually going to go through the weapons list right now just to make you aware of what weapons that they can hold. Champions can hold axes, clubs, hammers, maces, swords, spears, daggers, and then they can also do two-handed weapons. So uh, you might think of a captain when you think about this, but uh, if you have a two-handed weapon, they can wield swords, hammers, and axes that are all two-handed. So kind of keep that in mind too. It might help you in some regard. And then another thing I really wanted to highlight about the champion that you will unlock pretty early on into the game is that they can actually wield a bow and an arrow or crossbows so you can actually start tagging like groups of mobs with your bow and arrow skill it's not going to do much damage but it definitely can help you aggro more enemies towards you and because this is like a pretty good aoe centric class i would recommend that you kind of grab and pull in a lot of mobs and then definitely do some more damage that way it's a nice class when it comes to doing deeds like slayer deeds for example where you have to kill a good amount of enemies of a specific type in order to increase your virtues so i just want to make that clear now some of you are probably also wondering is this a good class for soloing a good class for group content well it's pretty much good for both it's good for soloing like you have a survivability aspect to you you can definitely take on multiple different mobs at once so you're pretty much set in terms of soloing for group content though you're pretty much good there too you can do a, like a lot of damage onto multiple types of enemies and especially when you have like groups of people who are pulling mobs you're pretty essential there you can also kind of be like a secondary tank in some regard though but for the most part they're really well-rounded in terms of soloing and group content and as i was mentioning about the group content aspect of the champions and how they can act like secondary takes i do want to go through your virtue trees or like your class trees that you get points in as you progress in level that can further help your abilities and skills and each tree has a specialization the blue tree is more of like your secondary tank tree that really will give you like buffs and improve skills to like further do better defense and then also just overall have a better survivability the red line is more based on doing like melee uh critical type of damage and just overall just doing a lot more dps which is super good for soloing and then the yellow tree is more along the lines of doing like aoe abilities which is probably like good when you're doing deeds to kind of activate that but i personally haven't really seen 
my own use of utilizing a yellow tier class champion. I just haven't really done that myself. I always typically focus on the red line because I solo more, but those are sort of like the categories that you'll want to choose from. Now going into more of the specifics of which virtues you should pick, I would definitely recommend your first one to be zeal. That's always your like go-to might based virtue that you want to progress into and how you progress into virtues is essentially by doing deeds you get this virtue experience it's typically about 2,000 virtue experience per advanced deed that you complete so while you're doing that definitely focus on utilizing zeal because that has might focus into it which is your very most important stat the second virtue i would focus on is valor because there is a physical mastery that you really want to focus on as well that's another like more detailed stat that you really want to focus on with your champions so i would focus on valor because that will definitely give you a great boost with that i would try to also focus on empathy if you want to have like a better survivability aspect or like a tank aspect to you when you're doing raids also go for wit because there is a, another physical mastery rating attached to that but then also you have finesse so that's going to help you with essentially dealing more damage to enemies and the fact that they won't be able to evade or parry as often so that helps you kind of take out your enemies faster. And then me personally, I would try to focus on one virtue that could give you either a morale boost or an in-combat morale boost, maybe in combat in terms of like doing raids and stuff. You could choose between something like justice or fortitude. Those are typically like the two I like to go back and forth on. So those are kind of be like my go-to virtues, but feel free to explore and do some more research as to which ones that you feel would better suit your character and what you primarily choose to use that character for. One thing to note as well is that champions have this thing called fervor, which is their own particular thing that is only for that class essentially what that is is like its own sort of system of power so every character has a morale and power bar minus b warnings in order to use your skills you have to have some sort of power and your power drains every time you use a skill think of it kind of like you know you're sweating on a workout and you only have like so much energy it's almost like an energy bar but with champions they also have this other bar called fervor and that essentially always starts at zero and then when you do some of your smaller basic attacks you actually build up some more fervor which then could lead you to hit some of the other better more impressive skills and abilities it's actually really not a complicated system it's just something to kind of keep an eye on because some of your skills might be grayed out but that's because you have to build up your fervor and then from there you'll be able to hit those skills and they have great critical damage you'll be able to tell your fervor meter because it'll be right over like your basic shield attack for your like your auto attacks it's like a bar that's right over that but that's something that's unique to the champion class last couple of things i just want to also mention that while we went over the weapons i do want to highlight that this class is not wield shields that is something that is just not for them because they're not trying to be like tanks they're definitely a secondary tank and the fact that they can have really good armor and survive a little longer than other classes but they don't really have any defense rating, so just keep that in mind. And then, like I mentioned, they do have a bow and arrow ability, but this will be unlocked to at a certain level. I believe it's earlier in the game, but I really want to highlight that again because that allows you to do some ranged attacks. Now, they're very basic. It's nothing crazy, but it can allow you to pull groups of mobs together if you so choose to play like that. It can definitely be a very resourceful ability, and I would tell you not to slack on it. That's like my number one piece of advice for champions. It helps me pull things a lot faster and allows me to get through grinding the game a little quicker. But that's more or less all that I have for this basic breakdown of the champion class. If you want to see more breakdown guides, I will definitely be pulling out some more. And of course, but that's more or less what I have for the basic breakdown guide for the champion class. If you want some more breakdown guides, comment down below which class you want me to focus on next. I'm going to work on all of the classes, but I want to know what you all want right away because I'm definitely taking my time with these. So the more that you comment one class, the more likely I am to make a video on it. But as always, until next time and stay weird, oh weirdos.